Hey everyone, it's Hunter and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, it is so nice to meet you. In today's video, I'm joined with my husband, Mason. He's been in a lot of my vlogs and I talk about him in so many videos and I uploaded a vlog on his birthday or for his birthday and somebody asked if I could do a video introducing him. So I've never properly introduced him. We did the boyfriend tag like right after we started dating but it's been a little bit since then. So um, obviously since we're married now, we've been married for a year and almost a half now. So here I am properly introducing my boy over here. Also, we're on vacation right now at the beach. So fresh face, we're kind of red at the moment as well. And that's where this background is from. So if you hear cars going by, then it's because we're outside today. Without further ado, before we go ahead and get started, be sure to subscribe to my channel down below, give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you have not already. And let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I posted questions on my, or I posted a question thing on my Instagram story and had you guys submit some questions and I also posted on Facebook. So I am just reading your questions. If you would like to submit a question for next time, be sure to follow me on Instagram so that you can be a part of that next time. Um, so I wanted to do this kind of interview style so you could get to know him um, and also get to know like our relationship, I guess, because some people ask questions about our relationship. So um, the first question says, what is your favorite thing about me? About you? Yeah, it says what's his favorite thing about you. Um, well, one of my favorite things about Hunter is that she is very persistent. Um, that's one of the main things I learned about her whenever we were first getting to know each other is if she had her mind set towards something, like if there's something that she wanted to do, she would do everything in her power to make that done possible, whatever it is. That's one thing I like about her because it just goes along with me really well. I, I'm also a very persistent person. Okay, the next question is a funny one. Would you rather have one horse-sized duck or ten duck-sized horses? Um, I think I would rather have 10 duck-sized horses because then I could probably start some sort of like circus and make a ton of money that way. What was your first impression of me? I thought she was annoying but cute at the same time. She always wanted to argue with me about something stupid and um, but she had really bouncy, really curly hair and I thought that was cute. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really like Mason when I first met him. Like, I didn't like him as a person. He annoyed me a lot, but here we are. So this one, I guess I should uh, give you a preface for this before I ask the question. So Mason and I, mostly Mason, I'm just, the only reason it's and I is because we're married. Um, but um, we have an Airbnb in our guest room and then we also have invested in another property that we use for an Airbnb as well. So with that being said, how do you plan to buy more properties to renovate and turn into rental income or like how are you planning to do that? So basically I want to take the money that I'm making on the side which also includes on any of my wedding photography or videography business or any of my tiling stuff or anything extra I do I try to put it towards something bigger or if I need equipment to do that stuff better I'll put it towards that but recently I've been able to um, I got a good set of equipment. I don't have anything extra I need to buy, so I've just been doing the same thing over and over again. So all that money I've been making extra, I've been putting towards um, the different properties or future renovations or anything like that. And so it's basically just a grind. You just gotta grind, save up a big chunk of money, and once you have that big chunk of money, that's when you can make big money decisions. And also, um, getting relationships with general contractors, getting relationships with uh, brokers and bankers and all that good stuff will get you um, to be able to buy more properties in the future. And also having a really good realtor. Um, that's one of the main things is I'm able to ask our, my realtor anytime, hey, I want to look at this house. And she's like, yeah, here, tomorrow, what time? And then we're able to get things done quickly and efficiently. And that's why we were able to get buy a property, renovate it, and get people in it in like a month and a half. So that was good. So the next question is kind of one that he's already answered, but I want to answer my half of it now. Um, what's your favorite thing about each other? You already told me your favorite thing about me, um, but I wanted to answer this for you. Um, my favorite thing about Mason is his work ethic. Um, obviously he talked about how he's always grinding, always busy, always working, doing stuff. Um, but he works really hard at everything. He's probably the hardest worker I've ever met and I really appreciate that. So. That's my favorite thing about him. So next question is, um, what was your dream job when you were younger versus what your dream job is now? 
Um, well, I think my dream job was that, like, whenever I would play the game Life with my parents, like, when I was growing up, I wanted to be a police officer. And I always wanted to be a police officer because I thought that was cool and I was stopping criminals, but also I would always draw, like, the $100,000, like, salary card and so I'd be like man I'm a police officer eating donuts making paint and um, I didn't really have like a dream job after that until maybe middle school and high school where I realized that I had a, a really big creative side when it came to communications and writing and creating content um, and ever since then I've, I know I wanted to be a part of something that was creative I didn't really have like a dream job inside of that but once I started in college um, I started doing helping out with uh, sports production and more live production and then after that I knew I wanted to be somebody that was in, either in charge of major productions, live productions or anything like that but nothing particular. It was just stuff. Gen giant general stuff. <laughs> okay and to go along with that what is your job now? Uh, my job now is a I'm a technical director for a church um, near where we live. I basically coordinate um, all the Sunday morning services and I rally volunteers to help out with that. I try to make it uh, better every single Sunday. I'm also creating content throughout the week for our website, for our Facebook, social media, that kind of stuff. I'm also in charge of any events that happen on campus that require media and uh, technology. So it's my job to figure out everything and organize everything and work with the worship pastors on their productions if it's on Sunday morning, if it's on Wednesday night, whenever it is. So that's my main job. This one is not so serious. What's your favorite color? My brother asked that question actually. Um, I think my favorite color is probably black just because it goes well with my features. So if I was picking out clothes, I want to wear like black shirt, black pants, black shoes, and it, that outfit would just go with anything. So. <laughs> What is your dream piece of furniture? Um, my dream piece of furniture would probably be um, a really comfort, like comfortable, like sectional, not just a sofa, but a really comfortable sectional, like a really expensive one that, um, like you lay down and multiple people can lay down on the entire thing and fall asleep and. To take up a massive living room, that would be the big thing, is if I had a massive living room, then I would have a massive section. What's your morning hair routine? Um, my morning hair routine is I take a shower every morning, and then um, I take my, I have like a, a bristle brush. Just like a flat paddle brush? And, um, Sorry. and I'll just take that and like brush my hair, and it'll just make it all stand up, because it's normally like flat over my face. And then um, it'll brush it up because it's used. It's learned to like stand up. But then I take. Um, I have some like forming cream that I get like a from, pomade, like from Target, and it's like a cream, and it just goes into my hair, and it makes it look like there's something in my hair, but it's not like gel. This gel is not good for your hair. Um, and then it looks like you know I can still run my fingers through it, but it stays in place. And then he brushes through his beard too. And I brush through my beard if it's long enough. Yes. Yeah. Okay. What is your favorite sport? Um, my favorite sport will probably be my favorite sport to watch is probably um, professional football. I think my favorite sport to play is probably basketball, just because you can play basketball by yourself. Um, and so usually whenever I'm playing sports, I'm by myself. And uh, football, you can't really play by yourself. Um, whenever I was in college, it was probably intramural um, ultimate frisbee, just because it's like football. Um, and we used to play and had a ton of fun. And it was a great time to meet people that was in school that you weren't in classes with. So. All right. The next question is, what is your dream car? Um, my dream car is probably. Um, hmm, I got a lot of different ones, but it'd probably be like a new. Um, Volkswagen uh, GTI um, with a supercharger or turbo in it, um, six speed, and um, then I, there's probably a couple others, but it, like another one would be like a Hellcat, either in like a um, Challenger or a Mustang V8 engine, anything that's 
either got paddle shifters or a six-speed manual car. That would be a ton of fun to drive. Pretty fun one. It says, if you could time travel back to see any band perform live, where and when would you go? Um, I probably want to go see the Beatles play, uh, just because of everything that like I've seen and read and listened to about anything about the Beatles is their concerts were to die for, um, and they revolutionized music, pop music, and just changed the way everything was done. And I think that'd be super cool to see and be a part of. Right. What is your favorite memory and? Uh, favorite memory that you would want to go back to? Um, it'd probably be back when I was growing up in Jupiter, Florida. Um, I had a lot of really good friends and neighbors that lived like right across the street and um, I'd want to go back to that time just hanging out with them like doing crazy stuff in our neighborhood like just riding bikes everywhere and going to the pool and picking on other neighborhood kids and that kind of stuff. It was just a ton of fun. Someone wanted to know how we met. Um, like, we met before. We were in a class together. We didn't really, like, meet. Um, we just, like... Knew of each other. Knew of each other. And then we spent more time together once she started being a part of our um, media team. And I spent, like, three hours of, like, a day with her selling DVDs to um, to parents for a graduation that was about to happen. Um, so that was an interesting time to get to know her. And then over the summer, I DM'd her pictures, pictures that we had taken selling DVDs, and said, hey, look, check these out. I saw these in my camera roll. I'm trying to get a conversation going, and she just said, okay, cool. Oh, that's so funny. And then that was it. And so that was how we started talking. I'm the worst. I left him on red. Um, not on purpose. I didn't listen. Hold on, we're out of focus. Okay, so basically, I never dated anybody before Mason, so Mason was my first boyfriend, so I was not good at picking up on hints. Um, you basically have to tell me straight up or else I'm not gonna get it. Um, so that's kind of why I didn't know that he was trying to chat with me in a flirty kind of way <laughs> instead of just like sending me these photos of us. Um, so that is kind of why I'm the worst. Um, so there's that. Um, and then the last question I'm going to ask you, just because a bunch of people actually asked this question and I was really surprised by it, um, and I just want to see what your answer is. Um, it says, when did you realize you wanted to marry me? Um, probably when I couldn't get Hunter out of my head for the longest time. Uh, and we had a lot of the same values and she had a lot of the features that I like looked for in like having a future life partner and that was something that I was struggling in for the longest time was finding like a female life partner that I could do whatever I like you know desired with life and with. Um, Hunter just was always there and she was always interested in what you know I was doing or and always encouraging me and supportive of me and always had my best interests um, in mind whenever she would do anything and that was something I wanted in somebody um, somebody that respected me and acknowledged that you know I'm a good catch and I, that's that's all I really wanted so. the greatest catch mm -hmm. yeah yeah okay well um, that's all I have for today's video if you guys liked it be sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below also you should follow Mason on Instagram um, he doesn't post that often but when he does it's usually like a work of art so uh, um, he's a photographer so whatever he posts is gonna be beautiful um, and he does not waste his Instagram feed on um, photos that are not beautiful so definitely check out his Instagram I will link it down below for you guys and I'll put it on the screen right on top of him right here so you can see it editing hunter don't be lazy um, and any final words just subscribe and um, <laughs> let the ads play all the way through this video. Perfect. All right. Uh, bye.